not quite sure how I'll group these videos together. Maybe uh, the one I did of this baby might go with the uh, Discus 2CT. Go up the Discus. Uh, I've flown this one quite a lot uh, because I got the hang of it. If you know what I mean, just got the hang of how to fling it off and fly it a bit and land it. Um, and it was pretty easy. It's got a single wheel underneath there. It's got a carbon fibre spar through the wing. Uh, the wing has seen some damage. As I say, it's been used a fair bit. That needs re-inking on. That red dot there, so you know which way it's pointing. Uh, I've added sellotape to the leading edge of the wing just to reinforce that a bit. Um, I'm not sure where the, the cover for this is. It may, may be completely lost. Um, in which case it flies without it. Uh, it's got no lead on the front at the moment. I'm not quite sure where the center of gravity is. But as I've said before about the center of gravity being about a third back on the wing uh, for it to be balanced. This one I fitted with a servo, uh, well, with um, a receiver which runs off my spectrum. So I don't need crystals. I could go up to the flying site and it pairs up with my spectrum and I don't need to worry about anybody else and frequencies as I would have as I did do with the the ones with the older fashioned technology running off the Futaba uh, set with crystals uh, quite a powerful battery which means it would just fly and fly and fly because there's only two servos in there uh, on the rudder and elevator so no control surfaces on the wing and uh, as you can see, and you can see in the video, I've added a little bit extra onto the rudder to give it uh, a bit more purchase. A tiny bit extra on the elevator. That seems to be enough. That little bit of uh, card off a of Budweiser carton. Uh, that, that one's shaped a little bit either side. Uh, just made it fly better may may not look pretty but it flew better uh and in its current state you can see a video of that i took with it flying so it flies in its current state and i've strapped a camera to the bottom there i've also strapped a camera sellotaped it underneath and taken a rearward facing uh video uh these are the key fob cameras uh so, yes, just get it balanced. Probably needs a, a bit of lead on the front to get it to balance. You don't need to touch it in any way. You can improve it. It's a well-battered thing. Uh, it's, so it's not particularly worth a lot because of its condition. It's battered, but it flies and you've lost very little uh, if anything uh, happens to it, as it were. And uh, I had great fun with it. And I'm not a very skillful flyer. Uh, it was very easy. And it, uh, you know, glides itself. Get it trimmed properly. Well, just throw it across a field. Uh, and just get it balanced so that it just glides and lands on its own. Once you've got it um, with the centre of gravity light, so it will just fly. Like the tricky glider that... Uh, that one was made out of then you can throw it off the slope but if when you throw it off the slope to penetrate to get it to penetrate this is what i find you need uh, a little bit of lead on the front so you move the center of gravity forwards over what you would do for normal straight gliding on the flat and then you'll find a position on your elevator uh if the you know, you might have to tip, tip its nose down a little bit at times, but just or up a little bit, just so you get the optimum lift. You don't want it to stall. You want it to fly. Uh, and you'll have a lot of fun with that. Well, I've had a lot of fun with that. It's up to you what you do. Uh, very low cost gliding. Here's what you can buy for a few quid. Two pieces of foam, basically. Fuselage wing or well, three pieces there's a little tail plane in there put it together preset something throw it off 
and it will glide. Yep, it's just a drop, chuck away glider. This is what you can do with it. Uh, okay, hacking it about a bit. So, first of all, a little bit of the tailplane is cut and a micro servo embedded in there and that operates the elevator at the back so you've got an elevator on the back operated from a little servo uh, nicely executed there and then in the wings you've got uh, ailerons uh, operated from a single servo so they're not going to have anything um, that's going to go up and down together but they will give you your turning moment by twisting it from left to right and then inside here pull that wire back uh, you've got the space carved out ready for your uh, little receiver and a battery yep uh, two channels is all that's needed uh, micro receiver tiny little battery is all that's needed and you've got a very straightforward nice little glider okay it's got the um what we say decals saying it's a mini whatever it is dsd2c um what do you call that mini discus 2c a basic little glider smaller gliders a bit more twitchy uh, but can be quite fun and this is super light it will bounce and bounce and bounce uh, so you, you can uh, learn with it if you want to but uh, you will learn how to be very responsive and gentle with your uh, stick movements so you don't twist it about all over the place otherwise it just twists out of the sky in no time at all and just pew, straight down to the ground and you can't recover it so be careful